In this video we are going to discuss what Markdown is. If you are hearing it for the first time, it was originally created in 2004 as a way to create and edit rich text. Just like HTML, you can format text, add images, links, etc. using Markdown. But in contrast to a what you see is what you get that is WYSIWYG editor like WordPress or Google Docs, it is much easier to use. There are no complex tags as in HTML nor any complex user interfaces. You can write markdown like plain text and convert it to other formats like HTML or PDF. In this video, we will look at the basic syntax. We will also discuss some practical applications where you can use markdown. There are several editors to write in markdown. But for this video, I am going to use Visual Studio Code. And here is Visual Studio Code opened in Windows. First, let me create a new file. Click the new file icon and name the file as sample.md. Here note that the extension I used is .md. That means the file is going to be saved as a markdown file. Now let's start discussing the syntax. Before that, I want to mention that Visual Studio Code has built-in support for Markdown. That means it can highlight the syntax as well as preview a Markdown file. And to open the preview, press Ctrl plus K, then press V, which will open the preview window towards the right side. First, let us see how you can create headings in Markdown. By the way, Markdown supports two styles of headings, ATX style and set text. Now let's discuss the ATX style which allows setting headings in multiple levels that means from H1 to H6. To create a main heading that means an H1 tag, start a line with a hash sign followed by the heading text. Here I am going to enter what is markdown. And on the right side you can see the preview. Similarly, if you want to add a level 2 heading, add two hash signs followed by the heading text. Also, don't forget to separate each markdown type with a blank line. I mean, don't write like this. As you can see in the preview, it also works, but it's better to keep a blank line in between. Similarly, to create a level 4 heading, add 4 hash signs, heading 4, again level 5 heading and finally level 6 heading. So that's how you can create headings in Markdown. Next, to create a paragraph, again leave a blank line and type whatever you want. Markdown is awesome. To create a new paragraph, leave a blank space and start typing the next paragraph. Markdown supports paragraphs and line breaks. Okay. Now if you want to go to a new line without creating a new paragraph, just press the return key once and then type the text this will be on a new line then after the first line enter two spaces and that's how you create a new line on the same paragraph next let us see how to create hyperlinks in markdown links in markdown here is a hyperlink and suppose i want to link to the wikipedia website and now i want to convert the text go to wikipedia into a hyperlink so select that text and wrap it in a square bracket and after that enter a parenthesis and inside that parenthesis, enter the hyperlink. Adding images is also quite similar. 
images in markdown start with an exclamation mark then enter a square bracket followed by a parenthesis and inside the square bracket enter the alternate text for the image here i will give it as some image and inside the parenthesis enter the url of the image for now i have some image url in the clipboard and let me paste it inside the parenthesis and on the right side preview you can see the image and suppose i want to link the image to a web page as we had done with the hyperlink select the whole thing and wrap it inside a square bracket and after that add a parenthesis and inside that parenthesis add the address of the web page that you want to link to and on the right side preview you can see that the image is now linking to the home page of my website next let us see how to emphasize text in markdown this is normal text on the next paragraph this one should be in italics and for that and for that add an asterisk symbol at the beginning and at the end now you can see that the text is in italics similarly if you want to make a bold text this should be bold and for that add two asterisk symbols at the beginning and at the end now the text is in bold there is an alternate way also to make bold or italic text another way to make italic text and that is add an underscore at the beginning and at the end just like we had used the asterisk symbol and that also converts our text to italics no difference similarly if you want to make a bold text there is an alternate way another way to make bold text instead of asterisk add two underscore symbols at the beginning and at the end and that converted our text to bold so that's how you add italic or bold text using markdown you can also use a combination of these two this should be both bold and italics first let us make it bold and for that add two asterisk at the beginning and at the end and then wrap it inside two underscore symbols which will convert the bold text to italics also and the text is now both bold and italics so those are the different ways to emphasize text in markdown using a combination of asterisk and underscore signs next let us see how you can create lists in markdown both ordered and unordered lists lists in markdown adding a hyphen at the beginning of a line converts it into a list that is an unordered list and to add a new line go to the next line add another hyphen and add the next item to add a sub item press the tab key once followed by a hyphen and the sub item sub item 2 likewise you can add any number of items item 3 next let us see how to add how to create an ordered list and instead of hyphen add the number followed by a period and item 1 and for the second item 2 dot space item 2 and to add a sub item add a tab key then add the sub item 2 dot space sub item 2 just like that third item item 3 Let's see how to add block quotes also which is quite simple. 
block codes in markdown for that add a greater than symbol followed by a space and this is some quoted text and that appears as a block quote in the preview to add a new line leave a blank line that starts with a greater than sign then press shift enter to go to the new line and on the third line type the text if you want to add a nested block quote again leave a blank line that starts with a greater than sign add two greater than signs followed by the text and that appears as nested block quote next is code blocks you might want to display code as it is and every code block in markdown should start and end with three back ticks so add three back ticks and let me add some html code here open a head tag close the head tag and inside that add a title tag let it be page title just for example and to close that code block again add three back ticks and on the right side you can see the preview but still it is not in color that is the syntax is not color highlighted and for that you can specify the language after the first three back ticks since it is html code add html and the preview is now color highlighted similarly if you want to add javascript markdown supports a variety of languages programming languages three back ticks javascript close the back ticks and inside that let me add a function function some function add an alert message and in the preview you can see that our javascript code is color highlighted so that's how you can add code blocks in markdown but sometimes instead of a code block you might want to add inline code also for example here is an img tag and since this img is a code it is not showing up in the preview and for that we have to escape it and to escape that wrap the img that is the code i want to escape inside single back ticks and now it will show up as an inline code so that's how you add inline code using markdown so far we have seen that markdown allows using a variety of signs to format text but sometimes you might want to escape some of those so next is escaping in markdown escape characters in markdown for example just above we have seen the usage of underscores and asterisk signs to emphasize text that means if the markdown processor finds a piece of text inside two asterisks it will be converted to italics instead of showing the asterisk as it is so if you want to display that character we have to escape it suppose i want to escape this asterisk hello and normally that gets converted to italic text and to prevent it and display the asterisk add a backslash before the asterisk and now the characters are escaped and finally i want to mention that markdown also supports raw html code which is quite helpful if you want to create something that markdown does not support by default to create complex layouts so here i am adding an img tag that is an image tag img src and alt let me copy the image address from above and paste it inside the src attribute and you can see that the tag is working likewise you can add any html tag however remember that some markdown processors do not support html code 
here is the markdown file we have just created rather than just saving markdown as files it has several other practical uses almost all static site generators support writing posts in markdown such as gatsby jekyll etc for example this blog is created using hugo a static site generated built using hugo programming language and here is one of the posts i have written for that blog using markdown you can see the syntax here and when you run the build command hugo converts all these markdown files to html files and that html is what you see on the front end let's take a look at the code and here is the post html converted from markdown apart from site generators some content management systems also support writing posts in markdown ghost is an example and here is a ghost website i have installed locally on my machine and uh, let's create a new post and the ghost editor supports writing posts in markdown let's try that click the plus button and select the markdown block type and uh, let me copy the markdown we have just written before and copy the whole thing and paste it inside the markdown block and now if we publish the post and view it on the front end you can see the post and that's how markdown conversion works in ghost and finally if you want to integrate markdown conversion to your web projects there are several libraries available including in javascript php python etc and most of these libraries follow the common mark specification which is a standard for implementing markdown conversion these days there are also several implementations available the github flyweight markdown is an example that extends the already existing markdown syntax with a few more tags like tables so that's all about the basics of markdown i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching